Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a guide to sugarcane. Again, this is going to apply to sugarcane. This is going to teach you how to plant and harvest and take care of sugarcane in both seasons and not having seasons turned on. Um, so we're going to go through all those various steps. Uh, hopefully I should cover everything in here. If you're looking for something specific about sugarcane or a specific stuff down below in the YouTube slider bar, um, there should be some different timestamps um, that you should be able to skip ahead to what you're looking for. But we have a field here. We're going to go ahead and plant sugarcane on it. So um, yeah, let's just go ahead and jump into it. So right off, first off the about, you need to uh, go through kind of a field prep stage. So you need to make sure the field has been cultivated or plowed. Uh, this field's currently cultivated. Um, ensure that plowing is not required if you're playing with periodic plowing turned on. If you have it turned off, um, you don't have to worry about this, but if you're playing with periodic plowing turned on, which is found in the game settings down here, um, if we go into here, we have seasonal growth to off right now, but if we go down here, uh, where is it at here? Periodic plowing right there. If that is turned on, we need to worry about this. So go to the map. Go over to this screen right here. If you have a red icon over the top of your field, so we'll turn everything else off, uh, which we don't right now, but if you have this red this red overlay on your field, that means it needs plowing. So you need to make sure you get it plowed and taken care of. Otherwise, you'll have a 15% yield deficit. Now, another thing to note is you need to make sure you do that every time because sugarcane is a harvest that requ or a crop that requires you to plow every time after you harvest. But on the other end, sugarcane does regrow and it is expensive to plant. So it actually is more worth it probably just to leave it alone and take the 15% deficit after the first time you plant it. So you kind of get away that option for you. But yes, sugarcane does regrow after you uh, harvest it. So that, as far as field prep goes, that's everything you need to take care of as far as all that goes. Now, the next step is actually going to be liming your field. So you need to make sure that lime is uh, taken care of. Now, this is only if you're playing with lime turned on. So if we go down here again to the settings. Um, so, oh, let's go to game settings here. Uh, lime right here, lime required turned on, which we have it turned on. So if it is turned on, you need to go up here and make sure there's not this kind of uh, green or bluish green overlay on the field, which our field does not have that. But if this is on there, you need to lime the field. You can lime the field by either using um, or using essentially just any um, fertilizer spreader that also does lime. So this one does lime. Uh, this one does not, this one does lime. And then you can purchase lime either in the store in pallet form or from the lime station on the map. Um, so those are a couple options you have as far as getting the field lime. Um, you don't have to do this in this sort of the same order that I'm doing it. You just have to lime at one point or another. This is typically after I do field prep is when I would lime the field or right before I do field prep. Um, you do have to apply lime every three harvests if you're playing with lime turned on uh, to make sure you continue to get a 15% yield bonus from it. If you don't do it, it doesn't do anything, but if you uh, do apply it, you get a 15% bonus. Um, so again, doesn't necessarily have to be done in this order, but this is how I normally uh, take care of things. Now, the next step we need to talk about is seeding and planting. So first off, you're gonna need to get all the appropriate equipment, but you need to make sure you plant at the appropriate time. If you're playing with seasons turned on, um, you need to plant at the correct time. So if we go down here into our settings again, we turn seasonal growth to uh, yes, and we go up here, we'll have this crop calendar now. Sugarcane can be planted in March and April. So you have to plant sugarcane in March and April. And again, it'll be harvested in October and November, but we'll come back to that when we get to the harvest point here. So again, March and April, you have to plant, but if we go down here and we turn this um, to no, um, that calendar goes away and you can plant whenever you would like to as far as sugar can go. So um, what kind of planter do you need to use? Well, if we go in the store here, we need to go into the store here and go under sugarcane technology, Base game, there are two options. Everything I'm talking about right now is gonna be base game equipment that we're gonna be using. So um, two options in here, you have the single row billet planter, which holds 4,990 liters of sugarcane or um, seed for you. And then we also, and it works at one meter at seven miles an hour. This one's seven miles an hour, two meters. It holds twice as much just about, um, and is twice as wide. I recommend using this if you can. Um, it's only, it's definitely worth it for sure. Because uh, again, two meters is a super low uh, working width, but that just is the way it is as far as planting sugarcane goes. Now you can fill these with either seed or fertilizer, or excuse me, seed or uh, sugarcane. So if you go under pallets here, actually I'm right there. Let's go under these pallets here. Um, so you can either, again, you can use... Um, regular seeds to fill it up, but I would recommend buying sugarcane pallets because if you look here, $380 for 2,000 liters versus 1,000 liters for 950, these are much cheaper as far as using these to plant sugarcane. So we're actually gonna go ahead and purchase a couple of these guys. Um, we'll just buy two or three of them is fine. Uh, three would be fine there. So we have a few of those. Now let's go ahead and hop over to the shop here. I have our sugarcane planter right here, good to go on the back of this tractor. Now, if I open up our help menu here, in order to load this with uh, seed, you need to come up to either a pallet of fertilizer, or excuse me, a pallet of seeds, I keep saying fertilizer, seeds, 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 pallet of seeds, um, and then you can hit R to refill it, and it's gonna start taking the sugarcane out of that pallet there, as you can see down there. 
Now this one does have a fertilizer tank as well. So you can use this to apply fertilizer at the same time as seeding, but we're gonna talk about the actual fertilizer um, and fertilizing the fields in the next step. Um, but this is important as far as all this goes. Let's go ahead and get this loaded up real quick. And you also can use, oh, hopped out of there. You can also use a seed silo and purchase seeds that way and reload it doing that. But again, it's more expensive, so I wouldn't recommend um, necessarily doing it. So after we get this, this filled up here, all we need to do is drive it down to the field and we need to start planting. So if you look in the upper left-hand corner, while we're driving down to the field, there's an option that says X to unfold cedar. And all this stuff does work for console. I just don't have the console commands up there because obviously I'm on PC. Now, if we drive it down over here to the, the field, now that we have it unfolded, I'm not gonna plant the whole field. I'm just gonna plant probably the center portion of it. But if we come up here, because it does take a while to plant sugar cane, I can hire a worker or I can hit V to lower it down and B to turn it on. And they will start planting sugar cane. And you can see, we have sugarcane planted just here. Now, the next step, after you get your sugarcane planted, which I'm gonna let him work on that in the background while we talk about this, is you need to take care of weeds. Now, if we go into the settings here for the game, if you have weeds turned to off, which is right down here, if you have weeds turned off like I do, you don't have to worry about this step. Otherwise, you need to um, take care of the weeds by either uh, using a mechanical weeder if you catch the weeds early on, or you can use herbicide at any point. Um, you will get a slight yield deficit if you use herbicide as opposed to a, a, a weeder, um, but the whole point of taking care of the weeds is to avoid a 20% yield uh, deficit. If you wanna know more about yields and stuff like that, I do have uh, videos out on all of that stuff um, separate from this, but right now we're just talking about sugarcane specifically. So after weeds are taken care of and after this bad boy has been planted, we need to make sure we have the fertilizer taken care of. Um, this is not technically required, but I would highly encourage you guys to fertilize it every single time because you're going to want to get the yield bonus. You get 23% yield bonus for each application of fertilizer. So you can do up to two applications. Um, we can go into the menu here. Um, another thing about weeds as well, if you do have weeds on there turned on, there'll be a weed option in here that will show you which fields have weeds and they'll be highlighted pink. But we're gonna talk about fertilizing. Um, so if you see this kind of light blue texture right here on field 22, that means there's one state of fertilizer. 24 has two states of fertilizer because it's a darker blue, and this one has no fertilizer. Our field 33 here already has two states of fertilizer, so we don't have to worry about it. Um, but if we did, we'd wanna make sure we applied fertilizer. You can use either solid fertilizer, liquid fertilizer, manure, or slurry to apply that. And those are kind of found in the store here. You can buy fertilizer in here if you wanted to do that, or herbicide or liquid fertilizer, all that stuff's in the store. Um, as far as fertilizing goes, again, you can knock one state out by using your cedar because your cedar also will fertilize. So you can load it and you can take care of the first fertilizer state by doing that. Um, or you can apply two layers with solid fertilizer spreaders like in here using liquid fertilizer spreaders in here. There's also self-propelled ones, manure spreaders in here to apply manure, and slurry tanks to apply slurry. If you're using a slurry tank or a manure spreader, you can apply a double application of uh, fertilizer so you only have to go over the field once, and you can get both fertilizer states that way. So hopefully that kind of quickly covers all of it. I know I'm talking super quick. Uh, my goal as far as my tutorials go is to get all the information out as fast as possible and as organized as possible without any fluff or any extra information you don't need to know about. So um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to finish planting this field and then I'm going to bring you guys back in when it's time to start talking about harvesting the sugar cane and what we do with the sugar cane. All right, the sugar cane is ready to harvest. This is what it looks like when it's ready to harvest. In the menu, it'll show up as remove foliage because technically speaking, these tops get removed as you harvest. So you don't have to worry about doing anything special or different. This is exactly what you need and what you're going to do here. So uh, base game, there's two harvesters available. There's a self-propelled one over there. And then there's this guy right here, which is a pole behind. These are found in the store. If we go under um, sugarcane technology here, we have the multi-row. Now, if you do buy this one and you want to do it yourself, make sure you do the attachers for a trailer hitch on the back. So that way you can pull a trailer behind and your essentially your sugarcane gets cut. It goes through the machine, up and out this pipe here, and then into a trailer. Now, if you have, you're have you playing multiplayer or you have another player working, or if you want a higher worker to run this, you can pull beside it um, and with a trailer on a tractor and this will go in. Not all trailers will work with this. Um, I've noticed that most in general will not really work really well with this. Um, they'll get caught up on the pipe and stuff like that. So it's best usually to have someone pull behind or pull alongside you and do it that way. Now, that is one option for you. The other option is if we go under here, under sugarcane technology, we got this bad boy right here, um, which this guy will cut the sugarcane from the front and it'll go out this pipe and there's a there's a trailer hitch in the back here. You can have someone alongside you um, or hire a worker to do this and pull alongside with the trailer. 
Um, but it's just pretty easy to just have a trailer on the back of it and do it that way. Now you can use any trailer pretty much for this. Most trailers should work. Um, these are sugarcane specific trailers, which I'll talk about why you'd want to use those here in just a little bit. But after you get a harvester for you and you're good to harvest, which if we remember correctly from if we we're playing on seasons, um, you're going to harvest, I believe it's in October. We'll double check real quick. We have seasonal growth turn to on there. Um, you're going to harvest sugarcane here um, in uh, October, November for us. So um, that's when you would end up harvesting it. But uh, for us playing without seasonal growth on, you're going to harvest it whenever it's ready to go. Now, it does take um, seven months for sugarcane to grow. So if you're playing with one day months, it will take you seven days to have it grow. If you're playing with two day months, it will take 14 days to fully grow. So just be aware of that. It should start regrowing pretty quick after you harvest it. Um, if you're playing with seasons on, it'll wait until it gets back into that planting season before it starts to regrow. So if we have this guy right here, I'm gonna go ahead and lower it down, B to turn it on, and then the pipe should be out already. You'd hit O to put the pipe out. Then I'm just gonna start pulling alongside here and you can see sugar cane's going in that back trailer and it's working really well for us. Now, sugarcane is a fairly profitable crop, especially if you use it to uh, manufacture sugar, and you get quite a high yield. You can see we've only done a little chunk of space there, and we've already gotten, well, 1,800 liters in the tank there. Um, so there we go. That's just a little bit there. Now, one, why would you want to use this trailer that's on the back? Well, if I switch back to that trailer to open the help menu, if I hold my left mouse button, I can tip it just like that over onto the ground. Now, that is one benefit there. You can also tip it into a, you know, a truck or a trailer. Um, they still also go up, so I can raise them up and get into an even higher up trailer that pipes a little bit in the way, but um, there you go. So you can tip it into a trailer, go back down. So essentially, it's kind of like an auger wagon for uh, sugar cane, in a, in a sense. Now, what do you do with the sugar cane after you harvest it? Well, you can sell it. Um, if we go into, excuse me, into here, and we go down to sugar cane, uh, we can see that these three sell points will take sugar cane. They don't take it for a lot of money, but again, you're going to get a very high yield off of it. The other thing you can do is take it to a production plant. Um, such as a sugar factory and manufactured into sugar, which can then be sold or used further on in productions. Now, you also can store it either on the ground like I did there in the train silo, which should take it. Um, let's go up here and see if it actually does take it or not. Yep, the train silo will take it. Um, and you can also download a multi-fruits uh, silo mod if you wanted to do that. But for base game, the only way to essentially store it are on the ground or in that train silo if you're on a map that has a train. Otherwise, you're good to go. But there you guys go. Hopefully that helped you out with Sugarcane. If you have any questions about it, drop them down below in the comments. Um, and I should be able to respond to those at some point. But thank you guys for coming to watch. And if you guys enjoyed, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.